A cargo container ship that's among the largest in the world has turned sideways and blocked all traffic in Egypt's Suez Canal, officials said Wednesday, threatening to disrupt a global shipping system already strained by the coronavirus pandemic. The MV Ever Given, a Panama-flagged container ship that carries trade between Asia and Europe, became grounded Tuesday in the narrow, man-made waterway dividing continental Africa from the Sinai Peninsula. It wasn't immediately clear what caused the Ever Given to turn sideways in the canal. GAC, a global shipping and logistics company, described the Ever Given as suffering, a blackout while transiting in a northerly direction, without elaborating. Evergreen Marine Corp. A major Taiwan-based shipping company that operates the ship, said in a statement provided to the Associated Press that the Ever Given had been overcome by strong winds as it entered the Suez Canal from the Red Sea but none of its containers had sunk. A Egyptian official, who spoke to the AP on condition of anonymity as he wasn't authorized to brief journalists similarly blamed a strong wind in the area for the incident. Egyptian forecasters said high winds and a sandstorm plagued the area Tuesday, with winds gusting as much as 50 km per hour, 31 miles per hour. All crew are safe and accounted for, said Bernhard Schulte Ship Management, which manages the Ever Given. There have been no reports of injuries or pollution. The Ever Given's bow was touching the canal's eastern wall, while its stern looked lodged against its western wall, according to satellite data from several tugboats surrounded the ship likely attempting to push it the right way, the data showed. An image posted to Instagram by a user on another waiting cargo ship appeared to show the Ever Given wedged across the canal as shown in the satellite data. The Egyptian official said tugboats hoped to refloat the ship and that the operation would take at least two days. The ship ran aground some 6 kilometers, 3. 7 miles, north of the southerly mouth of the canal near the city of Suez, an area of the canal that's a single lane. That could have a major knock-on effect for global shipping moving between the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea, warned Salvatore R. Mercogliano, a former merchant mariner and associate professor of history at North Carolina's Campbell University. Every day, 50 vessels on average go through that canal, so the closing of the canal means no vessels are transiting north and south, Mercogliano told the AP. Every day the canal is closed. Container ships and tankers are not delivering food, fuel and manufactured goods to Europe and goods are not being exported from Europe to the Far East. Canal authorities could not be immediately reached by the AP early Wednesday. The Ever Given had listed its destination as Rotterdam in the Netherlands prior to getting stuck in the canal.